And so it was that we arrived in Barbendale. Here we are looking down towards the southwest. And this, apparently, is a piece of art by Andy Goldsworthy. When we arrived, there were several sheep inside and they all came out and made off apart from one or two who you can see sheltering from the sun. Barbon Hall in the woods. And we're now looking northeast up Barbendale. And the stream flowing down Barbendale is called Barkin Beck, as in Barkin Maid. We saw some fish, six to eight inches long thereabouts. Possibly brown trout, I, I wouldn't really know. Be quite impressive. After some rain, after a lot of rain, it would be torrent. Quick look back to from whence we came and then... The star of the show is waving to us from the bridge. Is this an extra or just some random bloke walking across the bridge? I think the latter. This is the Occupation Road, or Occy. After the land enclosures in 1859, the areas on either side were considered to be occupied. This was originally a drover's trail from Barbendale to Kingsdale. Some say that this structure was created by aliens. Others say it was created by farmers for the benefit of sheep counting. Now we're looking down towards Dentdale, where of course the village of Dent lies. So I'll rise up to about 300 feet and we'll have a look at Dent in the distance. Just as we were leaving, the farmer came along. We decided to have a chat with him, introduce ourselves, tell him what we were up to and so forth and so on. And as we explained that we were going to go down the steep winding road into the next uh, valley, Dentdale, he told us about the time he'd had a few years prior when a tractor had run away with him, brakes failed, and he was going down that road at an accelerating speed of knots and eventually had to run into a tree in order to stop himself. He was injured, not too badly, but he was very, very lucky. A very nice chap indeed was John, actually. <laughs> nice to meet him. Um, we talked for maybe 20 minutes and we could have talked for much longer, but time marches on and we had one or two more places to visit. So this is the River Rothy, just as you're coming into Sedba, and we are stood on Millthrop Bridge. Beautiful spot. Going up and over here. You couldn't go under because you'd cut off your uh, radio link. And that would not be a good thing because the drone would uh, attempt to return to its takeoff point by immediately rising. Not a good idea under an old stone bridge. Looking over the fields towards Sedba. The Howgills are the range of hills on the skyline. And that's about it for this little journey. So thank you very much for watching. Take care. We'll see you next time.